Hey, what's up guys? So, I just got a package, as you can see. And uh, we're going to open it up, take a look. I know, um, well, I think, I, I know which one it is. And it's got my girlfriend's name on it because we ordered it through her. And of course, yeah, I paid her back, but <laughs> you know, sometimes we don't always have funds available and we got to get our fix, you know what I'm saying? She wrote, she told them to write Sesh on the back. That's funny. That's funny. So, actually, it looks like, it almost looks like the boxes they're sending from Blade HQ don't need knives to be to open them. If we just pull on the bottom just like this. I may have been. Let's see what's going on here. These boxes are a trip. So we just got it. Okay. I've never ever had to open something like this on camera. I'm pulling it off for a second. <laughs> there we go. So Blade HQ is really cool. Nice phone. Let's take a look. Bubble wrap. It's a hog. X1 Micro Matte Aqua Blue Aluminum Frame. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, that is a cool looking blade. That is a really cool looking blade. It's a brand new knife that Hoag has come out with. And I still need the knife. <sighs> And I just thought, you know, I'm not super fond of really small knives, but it didn't look that tiny. Oh, that's nice. Some other stuff in here. The Hoag paperwork or whatever, warranty. Hopefully their warranty's really good. I've had I've owned a uh, EX01 before in that knife, and I was kicking butt. But it had a few things like the the handle was a little sharp in one area, and um, it was a little it was really handle heavy, or maybe it was blade heavy. It was blade heavy, and uh, it just felt a little weird in the hand to me. But but I still really like that knife, and I only could have it for a short time. But I always wanted to try another Hoag. So this is awesome. They're coming out with some, some pouches that actually come with every knife. That is just, come on, every company needs to get on board with this. This is, ooh, you guys see that? Oh, that's nice. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. <laughs> it's a little pocket rocket right there. What the heck? That is good looking. That thing feels good in the hand. It is so snappy. Oh my goodness. That detail is perfect. Holy cow. That is an interesting pocket clip. You see how it kind of loops over right there in the front? Okay, so this just changed the game. So here's what I'm going to say. I have been looking at the Hogue knives for a while about purchasing a few. I've got two more coming in the mail. So we're going to really see the quality and see how they're, how they're doing because I'm gonna, I got three. You know, now I'm going to be an owner of three. So this is the first one from Blade HQ. And then I ordered two more from multiple other sources. And, uh, we're going to see, and I'll show you all three of them in a little video, and we'll do a little little Hogue video. But, uh, man, 
So far, I am impressed with this little button lock. So the detent, it stops itself right before it goes back into the handle. And you just click it in. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not every knife has to fall all the way, but... Oh my goodness, that feels so solid to deploy. Now I'm a sucker for really bright little colors. Let me bring this light up just a little bit. I am a sucker for bright neon and fruity colors. Stuff that's a little, you know, not super tactical looking, but on a tactical knife. Even though this is... I mean, it's a bit, this is built like a tactical knife, but it's a very small, cute little... Oh, this thing's badass. Oh, you are killing it. Look at the X1 Micro. Everything looks perfect out of box. One thing that's super sweet about Hogue knives that I remember reading about... Their edges are almost mirror edges out of box it's really hard to pick up on camera but man these are some nice edges for a factory blade probably the best i've ever seen that is just impressive and they're if they're coming with if every knife is coming from these pouches the difference is is that hogue it's a hundred and thirty five dollars i mean what is comparable i don't there's not a knife in my collection that is around. Maybe there's one. I have a few of them. 0450, maybe. Right? The ZT 0450. It's a little, a little big compared to the micro. But man, they do not. The ZT does not come with a pouch. No. No. No way. And it doesn't come with that good of a. Um, sharpening job. I, of course, I haven't tested its sharpness, but I mean, the first one I had was razor sharp. I'm going to assume this one's no different. But uh, we'll do a follow-up video on the three that I'm getting in the mail. The two more. I mean, I'll, I'll definitely I'll check the sharpness on this guy in that video as well. Oh my goodness. This is just... I'm just so impressed. I am. It's hard to impress me. These days, I will say that, but this hoe knife, holy cow! For for, I mean, it's. I think it's one of those things where we should expect, you know, we should expect the sticker and I mean some kind of accessories because when you're spending, a hundred plus dollars on a knife, I mean this is an American-made product, of this quality and this tolerance tolerances. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so I think some of you guys are gonna really like to see the other two Hogue knives that I've got coming. They're pretty, they're pretty special. They're not super affordable <laughs> like this guy either. So, but they're they're actually compared to what they're. I mean, um, I will say um, the prices on them compared to the competition uh, for similar knives, they are very very good. Hogue knives, knocking it out of the park, killing it, guys. This is just, I'm just, I'm blown away. Even a filler tab on a $135 knife? Yes. <laughs> oh my. Well, that's never leaving the collection. Sweet. Just an awesome piece. Let's see. It's got a 2.9 inch blade. So it's small. Actually, maybe it's 2.6. It may be. What does it say on the box? 2.75. CPM 154. So it's it's a smaller blade, but what a killer EDC blade, especially with how this sucker deploys. Oh man. It's got some great traction all over the place. I mean it looks like a a bit more of a stylized Is it the 001? I believe it was the model number. Hogue 001 or something like that. Goodness, but yeah, just just excellent. All right, guys. Well, if you are interested in 
checking out a brand that is for some reason never talked about in the knife community that is better than 90% of the knives that I've ever had out of box. Take a look at Hogue knives. Really impressive. I mean, let's just say this. Maybe I'll send this video to Hogue. You guys see those knives back there? I mean, there's, there's more up here in the display case too. There's a whole bunch. It goes back further. So, and I mean, I've got... Let's grab just one of these. I've got freaking these things full of. Let me open up this you. I've got freaking knives everywhere, like every brand, right? This Hogue right here really impressed me. Just insane. So. They they already have a new a new customer. That's awesome. Nothing. No movement. Oh, that's just good looking. What a badass little blade. <laughs> Gonna have to see. That's a very interesting pocket clip design. It looks like it'd be really nice though, because since it's rounded, you just get your jean pocket just enough. It should slide right under. And then since that's brought back up to the top of the clip right there, it shouldn't grab onto your jean as you pull out either. I believe these are made in California or maybe Arizona? Nevada? Nevada. I think they used to be made in California. Maybe I can't. Maybe I'm not remembering right. So I had one a long time ago, and I, I liked it a lot. I just been sleeping on the brand ever since, and that was a mistake. Even though I know they, they didn't have that many models, I think they had a few fixed blades, but now they're really killing it. They've got a few different flipper designs. They've got an OTF. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a, about a week, or well, maybe a few more. Yeah, a couple a couple more days, and we'll talk about that stuff. So. I'm going to definitely be on the lookout for more hoax, but I, like I said, I've got two more coming in the mail. Awesome. Epic. Just epic. Do they make their own pouch? That would be badass. Well, high value. $135. This is not a review, really, because... I haven't used it at all, but initial impressions, 10 out of 10. That's how you do a little small folder, right? Sweet. I'll talk to you guys later.